To fall for you I know you take my heart Like you always do You made me act so small Because I love too much I know you made me laugh Don't trust anyone I don't trust anyone I don't trust anyone I don't trust anyone Destroyed it all, but you won't find my side. Oh, I know I've gone through a lot, but not as much as tonight. I don't trust anyone. I don't trust anyone.
when it's a butterfly effect in your arms, you and me alone. So to some extent, everything changes starting around 1990. Music is permanently, I think, transformed. There are gatekeepers who are all powerful at all points. The gatekeepers decide who gets through and who doesn't. And success in music is more dependent up until that point by gaining access. It's more important to convince the gatekeeper that's the most important thing you will ever have to do. So convincing the gatekeepers, convincing the A&R people, convincing the labels, getting a record deal, that mattered far more. Uh, the internet being the obvious other half, this other side of this coin. The internet comes along, people don't need gatekeepers to uh, get their music out to anybody else. Uh, everything changes. The idea of a music history changes over. There's now vast quantities 
of uh, music out there, all of it accessible, all of it distributed. Prior to that, there was some kind of curatorial position, some kind of curating role. Somebody is deciding. Somebody is saying, okay, you know what's good? Uh, this is good, that's good, that's good. Those will get released, or those will go on the radio, or those will those people will be allowed into the studio, etc., etc. And one of the things it leads to, to some extent, is the death of the musical expert, which I am sorry to announce to a classroom of first-year undergraduate students in music. The musical expert as, as the creator of the music, the musical expert as the curator, the musical expert as the person who releases the music or distributes the music. To some extent, this has, has vanished. The tools are such that anybody can, it's not anybody, a five-year-old to some extent can, can record and release. You can have zero listeners, you can still make the stuff, no one will stop you. Now the big question mark in all of this, of course, is monetization, which ties directly to the potential death of the musical experts. How do we have musical experts when there's potentially no money in it? There is, to some extent, only the amateur musician. I think this is the real, the biggest musical revolution of our collective. You guys, most of you are pretty much exactly as old as this change. But I think this defines what we're in now, and it makes it quite challenging, I think, to, it's always challenging to read our what is the artistically really important right now? That's always been hard for everybody ever. In all of the noise, what is going to float to the surface? What in 50 years will people look back and think matters about this period? But again, only time will provide perspective. The future is as yet unwritten. In fact, so is, uh, so is the present. And you guys get to decide. Access to every single style of music or musical practice that ever made it as far as being recorded, you have access to all of it, all of the time. So, I'm very interested to see uh, what kind of uh, future you uh, decide to write. Shoes explains the reasons I wish it's but thinking about
Change. I'll never change